I explore space. And once, I rode in a great big rocket and landed right up there on the moon. You got to be kidding me. I have two brief questions I'd like to ask, if I may. When you were carrying out that incredible moonwalk, did you find that the surface was equally firm anywhere, or were there harder and softer spots that you could detect? And secondly, when you looked up at the sky, could you actually see the stars and the solar corona in spite of the glare? Around in this rough terrain. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Perla what, uh, what stars we could see. Whilst from in Mark space. From Mark Cameron. This is from Mark Cameron. Whilst in space, have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you time. can see, yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. I don't remember seeing any. Neil, you were uh, a little bit concerned. You said about stubbing your toe uh, at, at the point of landing because the surface was obscured by dust. Do you see any way around that kind of problem for future landings on the moon? Um, Oh, you mean all those little spots are not tasty chocolate chips? I'm afraid not, Cookie Monster, but you know, I'll bet that if you ever got there, you would still love it. Yeah. The stars all around are even brighter than they are here. And from up there, you can see the whole Earth where we live. Oh, that, that, that's where Sesame Street is, right? The sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon. The sky, of course, was, uh, was black, but it uh, had sort of a velvet sheen to it. The biggest visual surprise was just how black the sky was. <laughs> you have a brilliant sun, brighter than any sun you normally would see even here in New Mexico. Uh, you have uh, these uh, these extraordinarily high mountains. We were in a valley deeper than the Grand Canyon. Uh, but then you have this black sky, a sky blacker than black, as the old Viticon expression used to be. There's all the, there's all the stars there. And the cool thing is about it, you can see it during the day. I, I think the uh, simulations that we have at the present time to uh, enable a, a pilot to understanding the, the problems of a lunar landing, that is uh, a simulator and the various uh, uh, lunar landing training facilities uh, and, uh, and trainers that we have will do that job sufficiently well.